Hi, I'm Dr. Edwards. I'm one of the consultants on this ward. Um, I wanted, I understood you wanted to speak to me about your grandfather. Is that right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Can I just check your name? Sorry, and just check I've got the right person. Yeah, it's Eleanor Tilney. And your grandfather is Frederick Tilney. Okay. Talk to me about what what you're worried about. Um, I don't really know where to start. If I'm honest, mm. I have been trying to get through to somebody all week about my granddad. Okay. I haven't been in the country, which mm -hmm. hasn't been ideal, I know, but it has taken me so long to get through to people. I have no idea what's going on with him because I've had so many different replies from so many different people. Okay. So when I left to go on holiday, I wasn't going to go on holiday if I didn't think my dad, uh, my granddad was okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I basically said, look, do you want me to go? Because I, I don't feel like I should go. And he, he was very insistent and said, please go, please go. I want you to have a nice time. And then for some, like he was fine and now he's not fine. Mm. And I don't understand how quickly he's deteriorated. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't even know who I am. He's so confused. Mm -hmm. I've only been gone for a week mm -hmm. and I've been trying to call every day. It's not particularly, you know, easy to call from France. Mm -hmm. I've been on hold, I've listened to the bloody hospital message hundreds mm -hmm. of times mm -hmm. and every time I've got through someone says oh I'm not sure, someone will call you back and I just, it's just not good enough, okay. like I'm just, I've had it up to here and I'm sorry, I know it's not your fault but I'm just, I just want what's best for my granddad at the end of the day mm -hmm. and I've come in and he doesn't even know who I am and that's, to be yeah. honest it's really upsetting. Yeah. Because he was fine when I left and he's not okay now. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry I've had such a hard time getting through to the ward. It's it can be a real nightmare and, and I know <clears throat> different staff pick up the phone and you don't get that continuity. So moving forward, certainly what we can do is we can make sure we've got the right numbers for you, we can arrange to meet you regularly so that you know that we've got a check in. Does that sound all right? But yeah. I'm sorry you've had that experience. It's it is it is hard on the ward at times, but we should be able to give you some information. Yeah, and I fully understand that everyone's busy and everyone is a lot, under a lot of pressure, but I, you know, I just don't know what's wrong with him. I've had yeah. to get carers in for my, my grandmother because he is her carer. Yeah. And, um, you know, which is fine, and I don't mind paying for that. I just want some clarity. Yeah, yeah. So he's normally really well, isn't he? He's normally yeah, very independent. He, and, and that's why it's so hard to see yeah. him like that because... He, he's drinking from a bloody sippy cup. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's, he can feed, he feeds my nan. Like, he, yeah. you know, he looks after, he cares for her, and he's, that's not him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let me just go through what I think's been happening with your grandfather, and then we can kind of talk about moving forward. He, he became unwell quite quickly, um, and this is not uncommon in this age group. He's in his 90s, so... Um, it's not. It it would be normal that he'd been well and now then suddenly became unwell. We think he's had infection. Um, we think it's probably it's chest or urine. I know that sounds a bit vague, but sometimes we have to treat both. And then as our test results come back, we get a better understanding of where that what is causing most of the problem. Okay. Um, and as a result, I think he's probably become delirious, yeah? So right. anybody coming into a hospital can become delirious, all ages. You're a little bit more vulnerable as you get older. And delirium is an acute confusional state related to normally lots of different things. Being in an unfamiliar environment, new staff, not getting much sleep possibly being in pain from the infection, antibiotics, medicines, all sorts of things. There's nothing we've given to him. It's the mixture of all the stuff that's happened to him. Yeah. It should settle. It may take time. Uh, it might be that he clinically and health-wise physically gets better, but the delirium carries on a little bit longer. Okay. That would be normal. But I'm expecting for him to get better and go back to being at home with your grandmother. Okay. Okay. And do you think, do you think maybe the carers need to stay in place then? 
I would certainly think for the moment that sounds sensible because we don't know how quickly your grandfather's going to get better and uh, you know what, what sort of care he might need at first. He might need a bit of support when he first goes home, okay. mightn't he? Um, but yeah, so that's probably sensible to do. We can, um, we can assess things as, uh, as he progresses and as he gets a bit better. He's not ready to go home yet, yeah. um, is he? So, well, yeah. no, it, I mean, it, like I said, he just doesn't even know who I am. No. So. no. And I would expect that to settle down in the next couple of days, whether it goes completely back to normal uh, before he goes home. Maybe not, but it should get there in the next few weeks if it doesn't. Okay. Is it just you looking after him or are you kind of supporting them? Yeah, I, it's just me. My, my family live in Australia, so... Okay, okay. So you're having to sort of take on support for them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So does that... Do you feel a bit better? The sippy cup... Yes, I don't like sippy cups either. I suspect people were worried about him being perhaps they're not able to manage the cup at the time. Okay. We can we try him on a normal cup, certainly. Sure. Um, when, sometimes when people are really delirious, they, they're not able to even feed or you know hold cups and things, so maybe it was done for that. But I agree, we, we, we should be trying not to use that. Yeah. yeah. I just, sorry, it was just very alarming to see because when I left him, he was yeah. fine. Yeah. And now he's in hospital yeah. with a sippy cup and it's... Yeah, it's got quite hard to see that actually. Yeah, no, so it just is very hard okay. to see. Yeah, um, it can be, and you know, with delirium, when you normally treat, if you treat the underlying cause, people get better. But obviously, if he becomes very in distress, then you know, I'm not going to allow that. I'll, mm. I'll make sure he's kept, he's kept um, uh, free of distress. So, so mm. perhaps to summarise and to sort of move forward, <clears throat> we've looked at, we've apologised for the lack of contact. Um, yes, we'll try and do better on that. We'll get some numbers for you in a minute. We'll make an arrangement for when we can check in, especially if, if he's not able to give you information at the moment. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you think that we've <sighs> missed? Or... I was actually wondering if I could have access to his records because I feel like he's been mismanaged somewhat and I would like to see them. Okay. Uh, you cannot see his records because they belong to the hospital and are with and between him and the hospital sure. he can access his records when he regains capacity and then he can then consent to accessing his own medical records okay. he could do that with your support but he'll need to um, request sure. them there is normally a form to be filled in through the hospital website if you still had problems that you wanted support with or concerns, we have the patient advice and liaison service, again, normally based within the hospital, and they also may be able to support how you accessed uh, the medical records as well. And they're a good point of contact between healthcare staff and patients and relatives if you're, again, hitting a bit of a brick wall in terms mm. of information. And I'd hope moving forward, that's not going to be the case anymore, but they're always there if you need them. Okay, thank you. That's really helpful. Okay. Are there any more questions after that? Is that does that no? I think you feel better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. We're always here, so what I suggest to people is write stuff down, so that when we next meet, you've you've got things that so you don't forget them. Sure.